Hey, hey y'all, and welcome to this week's What's for Dinner video. I am excited about this one. There's a cat and a kid. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> I have three recipes, well, two brand new recipes to share with you. And then the third is a review of a frozen dinner that I had found and wanted to share with you. I feel like Jennifer from Southern Mama Drama, I feel like she may have done a Bertoli frozen dinner at some point and really liked it. So I picked up one to try and I'm gonna share it with you. And then the other two recipes that are brand new recipes I've never tried was a chicken stuffing casserole and crock pot chicken tikka masala. So without further ado, let's get on in to this week's <laughs> recipe. Up first, we are going to make stuffing chicken casserole. I saw this on Paisley Bradley's channel. She actually made this for a fall food Friday video and it looked delicious, so I thought I would try it out. I'm using some pepper, salt, and garlic powder. And then the stuffing mix for the top, some cream of chicken, an onion, some mixed vegetables, and sour cream. And then I went ahead and baked my chicken in the oven. I opened up the stuffing mix and put in a cup and a half of water and then stirred that all together and let that sit just so that it could absorb the water while I worked on everything else. In a separate bowl, I put my frozen mixed vegetables. I also put in my onion, my seasonings, the cream of chicken, and about half a cup of sour cream and mix that all together to get it ready to add in the chicken. You could definitely shred your chicken, but I decided just to chop mine into cubes and then I tossed it into that mixture with the mixed vegetables and the cream of chicken, sour cream, all that good stuff and stirred it up and got it ready for my casserole dish. I poured that mixture into a greased casserole dish and then topped it with that stuffing mix. I wasn't 100% sure about the stuffing mix at this point. I was like, I'm either going to really like this as a topping or I'm not going to like it at all. Y'all, it turns out it was delicious. I baked it at 350 for about 35 minutes. The top got just kind of crunchy and oh my goodness, it was like a chicken pot pie and a chicken casserole mixed together. It was delicious. Now we're gonna do crock pot chicken tikka masala. Y'all, I've been intimidated by this recipe for a while because of all the spices, but I promise you, it is not overwhelming and it is so worth it. So I have some garlic powder, ground ginger, ground turmeric, ground cumin, paprika, and then I could not find garam masala at the store, so I just looked up a recipe and made my own. I will try to link that down in the description box. Then you need some Greek yogurt, some heavy whipping cream, a large can of crushed tomatoes. I've got some salt and pepper back there too, and I used three chicken breasts. I went ahead and put my chicken in the crock pot frozen, and it worked just fine. I put my chicken in first. Then what I did was I put my 
yogurt in a bowl and just mixed all of my spices in with the yogurt and then put that on top of the chicken. I'm not going to go ahead and tell you all the measurements for these spices because I will probably get something wrong, but I will leave it down in the description box. Once I got the yogurt mixture on top of the chicken, I poured on that can of crushed tomatoes and I almost forgot that I wanted to add some onion to this. So I chopped up a medium onion and put that in on top, mixed it all up together. And then we cooked this on low for about eight hours. Save that heavy cream until the end. You'll see in just a minute what we do with that. About 15 minutes before this was done, I shredded up the chicken, poured in half a cup of heavy cream. We served this over rice with some baked asparagus and it was delicious. We'll definitely make this again. The last meal that I have to show you is this Bertoli frozen dinner. I wanted to try this out so we could tell you if we thought this was something that would be a good meal for those busy nights. And let me tell you, it was. We had this done in about 15 minutes. I served it with some garlic bread and everybody enjoyed it. It's something that's definitely quick to get on the table and a crowd pleaser. I love these meals that are literally like one pan and that's all I've got to wash. And you know, it was easy. Like I said, it was done in less than 15 minutes. I hope y'all enjoyed this week's video, found a little bit of inspiration. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that button, join our family. And then let me take just a second and tell all of y'all that are subscribed and who talk to me down in the comments and that I have made friends with. Let me just tell y'all that I love you and I appreciate you so much and I appreciate you always coming back to watch our videos. We'll see you next time. Bye y'all.